What is up guys, my name is Loverfella and welcome back to what may be the greatest video I've ever created. Today on Subnautica, we're going to try to explore the inside of the Aurora Crash. And I did a little bit of research this time and I found out that the way inside is through the back. I did a little research on how to get through those things, how to not get destroyed by those creatures. And I learned that running in silent mode will help you avoid them, but also just not moving and they won't aggro on you. So hopefully by parking our big ship and taking our little baby over here, we'll be able to get inside. And uh, also hopefully I've... I feel like I feel like I definitely am hearing one right now. It's giving me a little, little bit of a not good feeling. We're gonna go for it. We're gonna try to get in there. And I do know that you need a propulsion cannon. Some little bit of electric coming in there to get in here. Honestly, have no idea if this is actually the right way or not. So it's gonna be a little bit of an experiment for all of us in here. Let's take a little bit of a look. All right, we're gonna take it by foot. Definitely uh, quite a bit of crab here. This actually looks like the right idea, right, right area here. I'm gonna get my knife out just in case I have to hit something. Shouldn't have to swim too much, but that—I mean—that's a—that's a good amount of crabs. Of course, your boy got that flaming knife. Uh, okay, there's there's like a lot of them. All right, that's not. Hold on, can I use the propulsion cannon to shoot them? I wonder. Where are they? Where are they? Oh, I can. Oh, that's cool. That's very cool. All right, that sure changes things. You don't even have to fight them anymore. You just launch them in the ocean, and they go on. <laughs> that's freaking sweet. So yeah, uh, propulsion cannon, new item I just got because I learned that you need it for this area. Look at him go. Wow, what an incredible item. That is what I'd like to see. But I found out that to get back here, you need to bring your propulsion. Nah, not a chance, brother. Got to bring your propulsion cannon back here. And of course, we're going to see if we got anything to scan. But guys, I hope you're enjoying this series because this is probably one of my favorite series I've ever made on YouTube. Because like a, a lot of videos that I make are catered towards my audience more, like what you guys want to see. This is one of the first series I've made that it's really just what I want to do really, really badly. And so it's it's just incredible to play and to see the support I'm getting. Uh, it's, it's amazing. So thank you guys. Now, uh, we got to go through here, and propulsion cannon is going to move these, and inside, I am I have no idea what to expect. I don't know if there's monsters, I don't know if there's water. All I know is that I'm really hoping there's some good blueprints for us, because you boys got to get that ship upgraded, got to get some new materials, and uh, our inventory is pretty empty, so... Oh, no! I got to bring a fire extinguisher. That's okay, I know where to get one. We can go back and make one in base, and we'll be right back. Fortunately for you guys, the old Cyclops here, by the way, I've upgraded like crazy. You guys haven't seen it yet, but I have done quite a few upgrades off camera. Just to make my videos a little bit easier, I'll show you guys that later. But I do have an automatic fire extinguisher creator. Actually, I'll show you now real quick. Got the battery charger up here. They've charged those. Uh, got this coming in progress. Modification station you saw. Storage locker with just a bunch of materials I collected in case I'm going to need stuff later. And starting to go crops inside my own base. So that way I can come back and always have food and I won't have to worry about it. And I want to make maybe three planners. That way I can always have food and won't have to worry about it ever. It's going to be incredible. Uh... I think it's sweet. I feel like crops change the game, especially when you can just have them with you. Because then you don't have to worry about food anymore. And then you can just carry lockers with you so I can come back with a million different things every single time I leave. All right, now we're back to where we just were. I'm going to see, actually, that looks like something I could scan. No, it's not. Is it? Just a little thing? Okay, nothing there. Anything? Any any scannables? I'm going to go ahead and pull out the old flashlight. Like I said, I don't think I'll need that. And I uh, just want to explore, you know, make sure there's nothing I'm missing. Because that would be pretty, pretty bad to come here and miss everything. All right. Oh, they give you a fire extinguisher. Oh, no, they do. They do. Well, how about that? I guess uh, I guess that was a big waste of time. Well, let's continue. Got to be careful, though. You don't want this fire to get you because then you got to go heal, and it's just a big mess. Okay, and somehow got us. Oh, there's a little bit. A little smidgen right there. A little smidgen over yonder. All right, let's, let's see what we got in here. So we're actually inside the Aurora. Inside the Aurora. Okay, this is interesting. This seems scannable. It's not. Definitely gonna avoid that there uh, lightning if I could. What is this? A door? Is that a door that I can break through with a laser? I quite wonder if that's possible. Alright, taking that as a negative. It says it's locked. How about this one? Is this a laser through door? Sealed door. Cut open to access. Alright, now I got the laser cutter. There we go. So you just hold it down here. This is going to break through the door. This is my first time ever using the laser cutter, too. So this is pretty sweet. And it should take about 17% of the power, according to my Wikipedia research, which is not too bad. That's nice. Just a perfect little circle right through there. I might go for oxygen because I'm not really sure what to expect in here. Maybe you have to let that cool down, too. But that's pretty sick. And can I cut through this? All right, no. So it's going to say you can cut through it if you can. All right, let's go back up real quick, assuming we can make it back up. So I kind of want to get this little package here. Can I, can I? There we go. I got. I got to see what's in here. Could be good. Let's see a free battery. You can't pass that stuff up, boys. That's good stuff right there. All right. So I'm thinking that might be 
One of the only ways we can go, of course, there's a door there, which is possibly something you can cut through as well. All right, we'll just assume you can't cut through that door for now. Let's keep on moving through here. I don't see any blueprints. I don't really see anything worth taking, anything valuable. So let's go scope out inside this room. Sealed door. There goes the pieces of the door in here. Wow, this is kind of sweet, guys. All right, let's keep going. Bunch of floating stuff. Are these guys scannable? Anything? Anything? All right, I don't think anything in here is really scannable right now. Lots of paper up there. What is this? Data terminal. Aurora. All right, that's the black box. That's pretty sick. Seems like it'd be pretty valuable information for us. And uh, can I scan the terminal? No, I can't. All right, get our auction. Let's read that real quick. See what it says. Initiated slingshot maneuver. Oh, this is just what happened for the ship as it crashed. That's like all the like the black box data of the ship, which is pretty sick. All right, I'm still I'm still not seeing these blueprints I'm trying to find, but we are definitely making our way through here. Let's get some auction before we move in. So thankfully, I have the massive tank, so I should have everything I need to make it all the way through. Now this is interesting. This is very interesting. Some kind of circuitry in here. Wow, that's really cool. They put some effort into that. All right, keep on swimming through here. Um, nice looking pipes. Oh, oh, what is that? A flashlight. Literally on the ground. Wow, free flashlight. Can't complain about that, that's for sure. Um, I don't know that I'll ever need a spare, but if I run out of battery, I guess. All right, I could see this being a problem. This is definitely like a maze and I'm underwater, and if I die, that's just, just not really what we want to happen. So, uh, gonna have to definitely monitor my auction. If another fire extinguisher. I'm assuming... And I'm pretty sure I just heard a splash, too, which was pretty weird. I don't know what that could have been. Um, okay. It's so weird having no idea, like, what to expect here. I heard another splash. Oh, maybe that was fire. That was fire splashing. Okay. Nothing to be concerned about there, boys. Nothing to be concerned about there. All right, I'm assuming that's everything in here. I've looked around for a while. I don't see anything else other than the flashlight and the extinguisher. And it doesn't really look like there's much here that I can scan. So I guess we're going up here. Seems like a little pathway. And that's a lot of freaking fire. So good thing they gave you that fire extinguisher in there. Black box signature. All right, another one of those. That'd be pretty cool. And um, I feel like that's got to be the way to go. It just seems like that's calling me my way. Let's go ahead and move in a little bit. That seems... Uh, <gasps> that's the prawn suit. I've been looking for that for so long. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. Did I get the whole thing? Oh, I need four pieces. No freaking way. Dude. So I don't know exactly what it does, but I know it's like an end game item or something like that. So that was a pretty sick find right there. It looks like we got some battery chargers here too. Those are kind of like... Maybe those kind of look like advanced battery chargers. I don't know if that's a thing, but I'm not sure... That's another prawn suit, right? If I, I wonder if I extinguish this fire, if I can scan that. Oh, it is, it is. That is another part for us. Oh my gosh. So apparently this is some kind of mega bodysuit you can get in. Actually, I see another also way over here. Wow, they really kind of disguise those in the uh, fire a little bit. And you do have to, it seems like, put out the fire to actually get to it. So nothing wrong with that. That's clever, man. That's clever. Well hidden. And thankfully, your boy has uh, quite a few extra fire extinguishers from all the ones we've... Okay, that's not the right... Go with this one. This is good, guys. This is going to give us some serious progress in the future. There we go. Pronsu fragment number three. And I believe it said there were four. I'm looking for number four, but I definitely... Uh... Oh, there it is. There it is. I think that's the fourth. I think that's the fourth. It is. I was looking around this whole room. I was like, I know it's got to be in here somewhere. Look right above me. Boom. New blueprint unlocked. Pronsu. So if we go here. Epic mesh suit designed for nav navigating challenging environments on foot. So plast... I don't know how to get aerogel, but I can figure that out. But that is a... That, is... that makes me so happy. Seek fluid intake. Yo, already? Gosh dang it. All right, we got to start moving then. I guess uh, I guess we don't want to spend a whole lot of time in here if we're already thirsty. Although I feel like I just drank. Got to see if I can cut through this door also. Is this a cut? Nope, that's not a cut. Okay, so now we can probably pull out... Um, probably going to need our propulsion gun. And then over here, I'm guessing we can move stuff. Probably make our way up the steps here into whatever is next. So I'll just shoot these guys out of here. Propulsion gun is really satisfying to use. I never really knew what use it had until I came in here. Although we might run out of power here if I have to shoot too many more of these things. This is intense though. Prawn suit. Big, big find, guys. That is a game-changing item we just found right there. Um, at least I've heard that it was. So I have to get some materials for that and get that crafted up here as soon as I can. And uh, yeah, let's continue on. Let's see what else we can find in here. You just got to assume. Maybe we'll get lucky and find some food too. That would be pretty sweet. Get a little, a little munching. I do see... I mean, it came in clutch last episode. You boys know we needed to... What? We needed to get that food. We found those plants. I have a feeling we'll get some clutch food in here. Game design seems to know. These people know what they're doing. I'm just saying. A little bit more fire. A little bit. Okay, we're also out on that one. All right, we're on to our final uh, extinguisher. So if you could just give us one more, that would be fantastic. Game gods that are watching me and listening to me. Vending machine. This is good. 
This could be good. Give me food. Give me food a little bit. All right. I, I literally see so much candy in there and I'm not sure if there's a way to get it out, which kind of sucks. Computer. Oh, computer. Command share. I thought I said computer. I swore I said computer. But hey, blueprint's the blueprint. Not going to complain about that. Uh, maybe that's the thing. Just a little table. Trash can. A lot of this stuff is stuff that I've already scanned in uh, other crashes. Now, what was that? Counter. Okay. Go ahead and take counter. We could... Don't know what we use it for, but that's sweet. While I scan things, I'm going to go ahead and pick this up and play the PDA for you guys. All right, there was a lot of stuff to scan. Got a flamethrower, got a lot of new blueprints, but I still don't have any food, which is a little bit concerning. There's a little bit of water. That's what I needed. <laughs> this game just knows what I need, man. There it is. Nutrient block is perfect. This is all I wanted. Plus 75 food. That'll cover me and a little bit more water, and we're good. Just like that. I'm telling you guys, this game... This game knows what you need. It's like you're going to get thirsty in here because you're not going to come prepared. We'll go ahead and just give you water anyway. I'm just saying. That's incredible. Thank you. Subnautica devs are incredible. Um, also, another nutrient block. So food's not going to be a problem. And that's actually going to help us even out of here. Our health's actually a little bit low, believe it or not, uh, from all the burning I've sustained in here. So that's uh, something to consider. Might want to really be careful about these fires now in the future. I feel like a fire fireman. You guys ever used a... Uh, Ever used a fire extinguisher? I actually have to do fire extinguisher training at work all the time, so I get to bring in fire department and train people. Kind of cool. All right, looks like we got some more stuff to scan in here. Single bed. All these blueprints coming in are feeling really good right now. Another bed, another bed, another bed. There we go. What's that? Water? I could definitely use some water. Another water. That's what I like to see. Also, what is this? Some kind of bag? Carry-all. Common bag for transporting personal items. Can I equip it or something? I have no idea what those bags are for. I picked up two of them, though, so... All right, now, I feel like walking through here is going to hurt me with all that electric. I'm not really sure, though. We're just going to go for it. All right, so we went all the way back there. That led to a dead end. This room seems to be possibly... A oh, jeez. I'm actually really close to dying. Could use a med pack, game devs. Could use med pack. Ooh, abandoned PDA. Let us listen. All right, so this room is just full of a bunch of batteries, which is always nice to have. Gotta, I mean, it feels like there's so much fire in here. You wouldn't expect it to still be burning after such a long time, but... I guess that's how it does things. Got a couple batteries, though, so that's going to be good for us. I don't think I came in here. Yeah, there's another one of these. All right, so I can't tell if that's a... I mean, that's a dead end. You can't move that stuff, so that's definitely not the way to go. And then in here is another dead end, but it sounds like they were having a little bit of personal issues in there. Oh, she liked that girl, and then she broke the mirror. What does this say? Altera. Okay, so just another crew cabin. Cabin 5 seems like we can't get into. This seems like a dead end, so I feel like there's got to be some grand thing in here so i'm going to go back re-explore everything make sure i didn't miss any like secret entrance or something like that because i would be surprised if this was all it was all right so <laughs> i did something you probably shouldn't do which is i googled the password to this which is 2679 and supposedly there's something in here i don't know what but uh i felt like you know i felt like this, i'm here i might as well get in here and do a little scanning data terminal download pick up aurora miniature and wall shelves all right I feel like I probably shouldn't be here at this point, but I do what you gotta do, boys. In my case, that means a little googling. And abandoned PDA, the captain's log. Let us listen. All right, so it's just kind of like a diary from the captain. So pretty cool. Um, I don't really see anything useful in here. I did get a, I did get this thing, which is like some kind of shelf. I guess I could put that little, little miniature thing on that I just got. What, what did I get? Aurora miniature. All right, just found another code online because that's what I do. <laughs> This is cabin one, so let's see what we get in here. Water, med kit, maybe. Come here, come here. Okay, there it is. Uh, pick up carry all. It says it's empty. There's nothing in there. Supply crate with another med kit. Ooh, a garage toy. So I guess these toys we can kind of just display around our base. Baseball hat, like just like random stuff in here, which is kind of cool. All right. Um, anything I can scan? Anything new for us in here? I feel like that's what I'm obsessed with in this game. Is like I don't care about all that cool stuff you get. I'm just like, if I can scan it, that's what matters. Alright, look for more locked doors that I can Google the passwords for. Anything else? No? No? Okay. Oh, here's something we can get into. Damaged, it's damaged wire. It says use the repair tool to get in. So we will pop this down for our laser cutter, I think, and just repair that bad boy. This is so cool, man. We're getting so much stuff accomplished right now. Alright, so now we can open this door, get into this room. And hopefully not burn our... All right. So we have explored that whole area in its entirety. Gotten a couple cool things out of it. Definitely cheated a little bit with our Google Foo moves. That's all good, boys. It's all good. Wall lockers. Can't get into any of these, it doesn't look like. Another battery. Never say no to... What is that? 
disinfected water. <laughs> Dude, I'm getting so much food and stuff in here. I'm going to run out of space in my inventory. Now I see why they had those bags. That way you can freaking store your stuff in a bag, come back later. Like, I don't even have room for that first aid kit, I don't think. Do I? Oh, I got a couple. Might as well take it. All right, sealed door. We got to get the laser cutter out to make it through this. You pretty much need every single tool to make it through this ship. It's actually pretty intense. You need the laser cutter. You need the repair tool. You need the flinging tool. You need knives. You need everything to get through this ship. So I think this is going to be some big place for us once we get through here. And with that prawn suit on our side, boys, I don't know what difference it's going to make, but it's going to make the episodes real good coming up in the future. Of course, these are really long episodes, too. So, um, all right, got that taken care of. Can I open these? I don't get why I can't open these, boys. Oh, there we go. Abandoned PDA. Search and rescue mission. We'll read that. We'll read these in a second. Or maybe I'll just put them up. You guys can pause it because I always read them. But I read them usually after the video just so you guys can see more of the action. If you're not interested, you don't have to pause it. Kind of like that. All right. Is that repairable? All right. Repair tool. I see what the scans of damage. Okay. More water in there. Oh boy, I'm feeling good about this. Alex, no? Okay. Anything? What is what is going on in here? That's a unique looking little guy. Oh, that's a forklift. <laughs> that's not very cool. Why did my Alexa turn on for that? I said forklift. I mean, wow. I'm actually now out of space for items in my inventory. I got those flashlights. Oh, I don't need that though. All right, this is called the drive room. So we're going to go this way. The drive course. Okay. A lot of fire here. Ooh, I don't know if I have appropriate qualifications. A little more fire, a little more fire, and a little more fire. So this is the main room here. I'm guessing that's very important for us to try to repair at some point. But before I get there, there was a room back here which needed a repair tool to get through. I want to go this way before we go that way because I feel like this way is really important. So let's go repair this guy. So let's grab our repair tool five and let's get repairing i love how the wires just like suck back up like what a magnificent tool i would love to have one of these and this leads us into what is this oh another one of these abandoned pda spawning players what loading program desert island spawning players on beach player one is washed away going to grown up this is literally a video game that's really weird okay what is that what is that Depth module? Seamoth depth module. Oh my gosh, we just got an upgrade for our Seamoth, boys. Enhances safe diving depth. For our Seamoth. That means it can go deeper. That's big. That's big. There's so many big upgrades I keep finding. It's like every time I play, it's like a whole new game. Seamoth fragment. That's kind of funny that it's sitting in here. Give me that titanium. Okay. So our inventory is officially... What is that? Closed door. Officially packed. I cannot pick up anything else. So hopefully... We are towards the end of it, but, I mean, you look at all the stuff I've gotten. I don't really need these empty fire extinguishers, actually. These one percenters. Arcade toys, hats, upgrades, water. This has been a very profitable trip, I'm not going to lie. This has been very profitable. Now, I'm going to do a quick save because I just don't want to lose all that progress. you got to save this game because it's not auto-saving. And uh, another fire extinguisher. Perfect. And I guess what we're going to do is uh, probably go to that thing out there. But I see fire here, and it makes me wonder why. All right, it doesn't look like that's covering anything important, in my opinion. So uh, I guess we move up to the main part of the ship, Cyclops Efficiency Module. That's pretty sweet. I think I'm going to walk around the outskirts here, try to make it to the other side before I go down too deep. Because I'm a little concerned that I'll get some kind of radiation poisoning if I jump straight into the water here. All right, I guess that's non-scannable, so nothing there for us. We're getting so many freaking blueprints. And jump the gap, and let's see what we got here. Anything? Nothing? Anything here? Anything here? Was there a reason to even come over here? Alright, I guess we're going deep, boys. I guess we're going in the water. And this is what appears to be the engines of this ship, which is all the radiation is coming from. Nothing really in here, is there? Pretty magnificent looking, though. Wow, that's phenomenal. Now, generally in these games, they'll give you an easy way out once you make it through a giant labyrinth of uh, mazes, but it kind of seems like we made it to this end point and there's no easy way to escape. I don't think I can make it through this ground hole here. Um, I don't think I can fit through the wall. I don't see any real clear way out, so I may have to walk back through the entire place, which is a little bit annoying, a little bit not what I want to be doing, but that's all right. We'll go ahead and do it anyway, but 
I feel like this is a pretty comprehensive exploration of the entire um, Aurora ship that crashed. I really don't see a whole lot of areas that have remained unexplored at this point. Now we came over here, and I don't know that we can actually get up there. Maybe if we walk on the side here, I'm not sure. All right, it looks like we can't actually get up here, so maybe we didn't explore everywhere. Um, I'm gonna try to hop up this the whole way. It's definitely a new spot for us. Didn't think this was possible to get to, and that looks like a blueprint. Cyclops engine fragment, not something I need, but still cool. So when you think it's done, you're not even close to being done. Don't need the water. Actually, I might as well drink it and pick it up. Here we go, another abandoned PDA, transgov profile. This is just information on some of the stuff that's in this room. can skim that real quick and get that info. This seems like a secret area. Like, I feel like not many people would come to this spot. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. All right. What do we have? A little bit of fire. Ooh, that's big. Is that a Cyclops engine thing? Yes, it is. So I don't need any of that. Inventory full. All right. So I made it up here. There's a door, but I can't get through that door. It's locked. And there's an arrow pointing. Oh, wait. What? I guess that's unlock. All right, I guess we can keep going. Every time I think I hit a wall, I figure it out. That's insane. All right, I'm going to take the batteries, actually, because I, I think batteries are pretty valuable to have. So we're just going to consume that. All right, it's getting super vibrating up here. Like, the whole screen is shaking. My FPS is dropping pretty bad. Um, this is such a long exploration. It's unbelievable. Oh, so this is the one where they're talking about the propulsion cannon, which is right here, which I have no use for because I've already got the propulsion cannon blueprints. But... I'm not sure why that's in here, actually. I don't know how you could get here without it. Maybe there's a way. Uh-oh, boys. This looks this looks like it might be the end. This looks like it might be the end. Let's clear all this stuff and get on. Oh, 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 fire. Another abandoned crew data log. So we are finally here in open space. Looks used birthday. Oh, wait. Cargo bay code. There it is. 1454. If we ever find the cargo bay, I guess now we don't have to Google it. So it sounds like this ship's here because they were going to install a phase gate. Prawn suit. Oh, I can pick it up. Oh, my gosh. We got to pick that up. Get out of here, Titanium. Your boy needs a prawn suit poster. All right, now I finally feel comfortable in saying I think I've explored every single part of this ship. Cargo Bay 3. There was codes for Cargo Bay 3, right? Did I miss a door? I don't know. Let's hope not. I got to get out of here, though. I've got too much to... I, I can't even carry anymore. We got to move. You know, there's really no excuse not to have complete full health after traveling through this area, just based on the amount of uh, stuff in there. Like, you got to have max health, max everything. Come here, baby. Crabs are kind of fun to kill now. <laughs> And is that something I can shoot? All right, and this takes us back out where we came in. I'm kind of concerned about jumping in the water. Like, I feel like that might kill me. But our big boat's over there. Our Seamoth is right below us. And we have made some serious progress in today's episode. Actually, I thought... Oh, it's right there. Seamoth's over there. All right, guys, so that is today's episode. Thank you so much for watching, guys. This series is incredible. You guys are amazing. Don't forget to spread the love, and I will see you all tomorrow.